Okay, so G says to me that you guys couldn't hear me there. So let's start again. There, there's my web. So follow me over there. On our website, you can go to the join us button. Okay, all the steps are here. So if you do forget the web address that I mentioned earlier, here it is over here, mpcworldwide-register.com. So these are the steps that you can follow. I've broken it down here into 10 steps for you. And that should take you through the process seamlessly. Um, there have been a couple of athletes this week that get stuck at the verification email page um, where it gets stuck and it doesn't send it to you. So if that happens to you, you can just drop me a DM and I'll be able to um, get that sorted out for you quick, quick, quick. Okay, so all the details are there on the join us. So that's how you would become a member with MPC Worldwide. So to compete at any of Champagne Productions' events, you need to be a member of MPC Worldwide in order to do so. So lots of excitement. Wait, I want to carry on with the I want to carry on with the division. So teams. The teams that that we started the teams last year. Um teens is for our 13 to 19 year old athletes okay and as i was saying the muscle militia grand prix already has our first teen champs who i hope are going to be defending their title in 14 weeks out yes we are 14 weeks out from the muscle militia grand prix five our first regional for the season so up here you can see all the handles will be flashing by if you guys want to stay up to date with all the different shows all the handles are there. Um, we'll talk just now about the Eye Candy Classic and the Iron Showdown. We'll get back to those. Okay. After the teen division, we've got our junior divisions, which also runs across all our – sorry, our junior class, which also runs past all our divisions. This is for athletes who can compete until the day before they turn 23 years old. So you're a junior until that time. Um, so teens can also enter the juniors. Um, it's open to all ages up until the day before you turn 23 years old. We then have our master's divisions. For the ladies, we've got our master's over 35. And we have also added our master's over 40 for the ladies. For the gents, we have got masters over 40 and masters over 50. And just to clear it up, if you are a gentleman of, let's say, 65 or 75 years old, you are more than welcome to enter the masters over 40 and over 50. That's right, right, G? Great, you're already that age. Yeah. Of what I, I think would be, like, super awesome is if, like, a, let's say, 75-year-old athlete gives the 40-something-year-old athlete a go. That would be something to see, hey? Yeah. And then, of course, we have our open divisions, which open classes which go according to height and weight in certain aspects. So if you guys still have some questions about that or don't understand that, you can always drop me a DM. And also, all the information is available on our website. If you guys go to the Athlete Information tab, Give it a sec to open. There we go. Down here, the rules and regulations. Oh, I need to do some updating here. So over here, if you scroll all the way to the end, you will see all the different divisions. Okay. If you guys scan those QR codes, it will also take you to them. Okay, so bodybuilding okay so that will show you all the different weight classes in the bodybuilding division it goes according to your weight okay all the important information is listed there um, the judging the different Mandatory poses. Jump in any time you want, head judge. <laughs> I was just make. I was here to make sure that you turned the volume up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wasn't that your job? That's why I was silent for so long. Okay. So yes, um, I might as well just jump to some of the questions that I'm getting. So we're getting lots of questions about the different poses and in some respects we, let me just see. Yeah, if you want to, just something that I noticed, that there's only one image from the Saturday night with that who's on brand in there. So yeah. on the Saturday night he wore the gold trunks, Friday night he wore the black trunks. Yeah, well. I think he looked better on the Friday night. Okay, so you know which day that is. Yeah, but he does. Okay, cool. So, um, yes, yeah, so our posing is different to other federations. Um, I just wanted to go to, bikini is a real good one. So, oh, sorry. I just went straight for the pink. <laughs> there we go. So on the website, you can add it to the cart and then it will become downloadable and it will be in your account section under your downloads, just for easy reference to go back to. So you can save those divisions. Okay, so for the bikini, something new that you guys might have seen is that we have added an extra class to the bikini lineup. Previously, we only had three classes, and this is in line with getting our team ready for Athleticon, which is now going to be taking place in October 2021. So we've added the additional class which breaks down our previous class A into two sections. So we now have class A, which is for our girls up to 157 centimeters. Class B is up to 163 centimeters. Class C is still the same, up to 168 centimeters. And class D is still the same for the ladies that are over 168 centimeters. So like, is there any way I could make just that bigger? Just the pickies. Can you zoom in, man? Okay. Bigger. That's fine. Just leave it there. That's perfect. Okay, so it's very important um, that you guys do your homework and all the information is at your fingertips at the champagneproductions.co.za webpage. If there's any information that you can't find there, let me know. But everything is there. Um, I can just also help and point you in the right direction. So it's very important that you guys do do your homework Go have a look at the rules and regulations for your division. Um, like at the bikini posing, which you can see on the screen there, it's very different, okay? Um, in MPC Worldwide, we don't lift our hands at all. So it's very, very different and it's very important that you... So all the rules are there for you guys to have a look at. Where's my list? So that's all the official stuff. Um, I did say last year that we would do more um, lives on the different divisions. So I'm going to look at scheduling those and I will keep you guys posted on the socials. What's different this evening? Where's the tunes? We don't have any tunes tonight. No, I don't think <laughs> Okay, so it just, I've got a couple of surveys out there. If you guys look at the bottom of the screen, um, last week I mentioned that I would put out there the survey on the winner's jacket. So that's out there now. And you guys can get involved with that. The instructions are in the Instagram post on how you guys can get involved. And there's um, some awesome prizes available. Um, I've actually got some of them right here next to me. 
So we're giving out his and hers double set of militia masks. We've got the Hulk and She-Hulk double set that we're giving out. And also the Harley Quinn, and this is brand, brand new, this one. This one is the Joker. So those two twin sets are up for grabs. If you guys participate in the survey, um, give your opinion, help us decide what you think we should do with the winner's jackets for Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5. Okay, look forward to hearing from you guys. And then something else that I put out this week is that our overall Muscle Militia Hulk trophies, previously we've only ever awarded it to five recipients at every show. And this year is the first year that we are going to be giving it out to women's physique and wellness. So I'm sure there's a couple of wellness girls out there that want to get their hands on that. <laughs> yeah, uh, old hand and that jacket. Overalls. Not to forget about those medals. Five, 500 grams. You guys saw that last week. I'm really protesting i really want music for the next one please thank you it's just not going with my vibe <laughs> okay so um we still have about 60 percent of the early bird entries left so the early bird entry code i've had a lot of peeps asking saying they couldn't hear it from last week's live the code to use, the coupon code to use at checkout for those early birds is MMGP50. And we have still got about 60% left of those. So head on over to Champagne Productions and you can enter online there. Um, if you missed out on last week's live, um, just to recap that for now, we are going to be limiting the amount of entries per division to 50. So get your entries in there. Thank you. Almost at the end of our catch up, but we get some beats. Okay, so pass that to me. I just want to get off. The mouse has disappeared off my screen. Okay, so if you go to the online store. Online store, you will find the tab for the Muscle Militia Grand Prix entries over there for our regional qualifier. I'm going to come back to that screen just now. And there you go, there are all the entries. So remember, you guys are allowed to cross over, which means that you can enter more than one um, class and division. We have had a lot of inquiries asking us about the Muscle Militia model search because we did not get to have that contest either this year. So we're going to continue the contest online and all the information will be put up very, very soon for everybody that has been asking. <clears throat> okay, I did get also a lot of questions of peeps asking us about when we're going to be letting them know about the dates for the shows that are postponed. So um, we hope to get some more answers for you guys with regards to that. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks or so. Just as more of the venues open up, we will be able to engage with them and see which dates are available. So we'll definitely keep you guys up to date and we'll definitely give you guys at least 12 weeks to prepare for those shows. And it's also very important that the gyms are open, AG. You need that. You know, like, Rumour has it. Anybody that follows me on the socials or go check it out, I share the post. We hold fingers, guys. 2nd of July. We're in court. Let's see what we, we can get to open. So that our peeps can get back to gym and get to real iron, right? Okay, so that was that. 
I don't really have that much more. I'm not sure if any questions have come through. Check for me if there are any questions. Oh. No, she's just been telling me about the oh. bits I've missed. Well, guys, we are looking at doing these catch-ups at least once a week on a Monday for the Muscle Militia Monday catch-up live sessions. So if you guys have any questions you want us to answer at these, drop me a DM and I am keeping track of all the questions that come through and we will address it right here on this show. This is the platform where we're going to keep you guys up to date with everything that is happening in the world of um, MPC Worldwide South Africa and the contest by Champagne Productions. So this is the platform where we'll update you guys once a week and we are 14 weeks out now. Anything else to No, just those that are interested to the weather that's getting pretty cold. There's some Emperor Wear hoodies that's still in stock. Um, go check it out on our website. Otherwise, if you're interested in the Muscle Militia Wear, we customize that for you. So if you want the Muscle Militia stuff, we always have that available. We're going to be having the Team Coach Award again, so that is another opportunity for somebody to win a, a whole can. Um, we give that award out every single year for the team or coach that brings it and earns the most points. Um, I think it is on our website, the points standing for the Team Coach. Just drop down the app you can look at. I just want to see that too. So it is there. Yeah, for any of the other coaches that want to get listed, get in touch with us. You see the, the 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 listing is free, there's no charge. So go check it out. Current champ, Vic Alley. He also won the title in 2017. 2017. So Vic's a two-time coach award recipient at the Muscle Militia Grand Prix. Is there anybody out there that feels that they can uh, take out the boss man, aka Vic Ali? Let us know. Yeah. Are you let, prepping your squad? Let us know. Let us know. And if we, there's anybody that's battling, has got somebody in mind they want to call out, even better. I like a challenge. I like a challenge. Like there were a couple of challenges that went down last year and there were a couple of challenges that didn't. But um, I'm very interested to hear. Is there somebody you would like to see battle somebody else? Let us know. Um, or is there somebody that you want to challenge? Let us know. I love a challenge. And then just another thing always on our website, we've got all the previous photo footage, a YouTube channel. Um, yeah, the YouTube channel is pretty up to date at the moment. Um, all the videos from Muscle Militia Grand Prix 3 and 4 is uploaded at the moment on the YouTube channel. So it is really cool. I think there's 88 episodes for Muscle Militia Grand Prix 4 and 72. 62. Oh yeah, 62 for Muscle Militia Grand Prix 3, so super, super awesome. It's really cool looking back and seeing all of the super heroes that have graced our stage. It's awesome. That was it. What else on the web can I chat about? So, you know, guys, we normally have our, pose with the, well, our posing seminars and workshops at least twice a year, so things will probably not work out like that. So we're going to look into doing some um, like live workshops yep. or Zooms. Um, seems that that's a thing to have a Zoom thing. We'll have a, we'll have a look and see what electronic virtual posing workshops we could do. Um, otherwise, hopefully it's open to a point where we can do a seminar with limited numbers and social distancing. So I just want to reiterate again, like knowing your posing and doing your posing really flawlessly <clears throat> is like very key. So if you guys are looking for a posing coach, um, reach out to me. There are many of our IFBB Pro League pros 
who do offer posing lessons. So who better to learn by than from the pros? Oh yeah, I need to update. No, the latest the latest poster is there. This is for the photos. For the photos, yeah. So if you go to our photos section, all the photos from the past shows are there. So do your research, guys. We've listed all the winners there. Have a look at where you need to get to, who your competition is. Do your homework. And there you can also have a look at all our defending champs. Oh, yeah. There's two titles that are up for grabs. Two obviously. titles. Well, the other guys can come ballot out, but they are. They well, are when I say vacant titles, is guys that have become pros at the Big Man Weekend. Um, that one at the Muscle Militia. Lane in G. Yeah, he was classic physique. And Reese. And Reese, yes. Reese was our men's physique overall champ. So those titles are open. Open game. Is there anybody that can knock off uh, Albert at the Muscle Militia? I, I'm, I'm actually super stoked that uh, Arnold's put it out there that he'll be competing. I really would love to see him in both bodybuilding and the, and the classic. Um, and anybody that thinks they can knock uh, Al Albert or Arnold Forsley, let's uh, let me know about it. Um, I think those guys are going to be top top competitors uh, as we progress with pro league. Um, and, so, then, and we've got some amazing athletes, guys. That's why I'm so pro pro league proud of South Africa and what we have to represent in the bodybuilding world. Uh, We've got superstars, yeah. It's just about uh, us finding the right time and place and getting us out there. It's going to be phenomenal. Okay. So, our bikini reigning champ is Anal. Anal yeah. 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 Which was in the overall at the big man. Let me see who was. Our junior is uh, Stefan. Yeah. What other division? I'm talking about the whole cans now. Oh, you want the whole cans? Yeah, I'm just looking for the figure because there we go. Yolanda Yonker is our reigning figure champ. Um, figure. I one of the, the other champs is uh, coming back for the time. Yes, I have been told that um, our figure champ from Muscle Militia Grand Prix 3 is looking to be at Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5. So she wants her title back. She, she wants she, another jacket. And another Hulk can. <laughs> so. Once you get one of those, it, you can't blame anyone for being greedy to want to have one. <laughs> okay, so that was figure. Classic physique, men's physique, bodybuilding, and bikini. So, yes. So who's going, add, who's going to add be? the wellness. So, you got the wellness and you got the physique. And women's physique. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd be very interested to know you guys can drop us on the messenger dm us um, let us know let us know who you would like to see so we can see if we can get them to come what else gee there's nothing else on the website that I can nothing see. really that i feel that we need to touch on now. so just um I just want to quickly go back to my very first question that I had that started everything about NPC Worldwide. Um, the question was, is it possible to become an IFBB Pro? So yes, guys, um, the, the process that we have with NPC Worldwide is that there are regional qualifiers all over the world. As South Africa, um, a South African, you need to do a South African regional qualifier before you can go and do the Pro qualifier. So at the pro qualifier, that is where the pro cards are up for grabs to the overall winners. And some pro qualifiers around the world, like the amateur Olympias, they have got three cards per division. So some of those shows give up 27, up to 27 cards. So um, that is the route to becoming a IFBB Pro League Pro. Um, so for our amateur athletes, they are NPC Worldwide athletes. So for our existing athletes that we have and our new athletes, um, you are more than welcome to add the NPC to your handle on Instagram. And then once you become an IFBB Pro, 
and you can change that to IFBB Pro. There's nothing more that I have to say, G. I know you're really looking forward to the top of the screen, that side. Um, Mr. Olympia. Simba, will it be? I hope it will. Yeah, guys, the, the social distancing and the, the mitigation factors, I believe, are, are key for us all when the gyms do open. Um, make it part of your daily lives. Make it uh, part of the new culture, I suppose, that you enforce that change and flow with the change because that will assist us to keeping the numbers down, making sure that we are not, are, are not locked down again. Are there some, like I've got, I can see there that Pat is... It is old. Oh, is it old? Okay, good, good. I'm a bit slow then. Yeah, don't worry. So I want to just scroll down there. I just want to make sure before we go that I'm not missing out on any questions. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, and if you guys do have any questions that you want us to answer on these um, Monday catch-ups, then let us know. But for now, have a great week, guys. See ya. See ya later. The minute you added music, we became more loose. It was like two split without music.